oh, it's so good to be here today. Okay, transfiguration. Good grief, how many syllables? Transfiguration. Is that five? Transfiguration. That's a lot. That's a lot, especially for this size person. This size, you can get it. This size, yeah, no problem. Transfiguration Sunday. What does that mean? We'll try to figure it out. First, I have a word here. Normal. It'd be nice to get back to normal. Hmm. I think that has something to do with Transfiguration Sunday. We talk about Jesus, and we know Jesus was a man. Jesus was with us. Some people would say when Jesus is with us, nothing's normal because we have Jesus. But other people would say when Jesus is with us, that's normal because as Christians, we walk around, hopefully, with Christ with us in our heart all the time. So that would be normal. Now, Transfiguration Sunday talks about a time when Jesus is not normal. He becomes sparkly. He becomes divine. Oh. We sometimes think of Jesus as being divine all the time, but Transfiguration Sunday talks about when Jesus didn't remain as this human, he became sparkly. Hmm, normal. What an interesting word. We're coming into Lent, and Lent is a time of preparation. So it's not a normal time. So kids, you're going to get something very exciting for the family. It's going to be a carton of eggs. Now, the first set of directions are open envelope first. So I opened the envelope first, and I got this. This is probably going to be for mom and dad at first, and this will be for you. And then the second set says, warning, small objects inside eggs. That's a little odd. Hmm. We'll have to see what that means. But the first time we open our first egg is Ash Wednesday. That's this coming Wednesday. Hmm. So it's not going to be a normal Wednesday. We also have church on Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Well, that's not a normal Wednesday. Hmm, normal. Sparkly. I like sparkly. But I know I live with Christ in me. So the thing that's not normal is the Transfiguration Sunday for me. But here's a question about normal. I helped move somebody yesterday, and this sign was right by their elevator. And it says, in our rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. Hmm. If we go back to normal, we don't have this kind of a service anymore. Some of us go, yippee, we get to come back to the sanctuary. But what happens if you're sick and you're at home? If we don't completely return to normal, you can still watch. You can still be with us. Hmm. What parts of normal are worth rushing back to. Do we like, do we want that sparkly Jesus? Do we want that Jesus right here with us 
at all times? Hmm, normal. So we're going to have a not normal prayer. Hmm. I love the song that we sang, and it's shine, Jesus, shine. Fill your hearts with the da da. I don't know all the words, but I do know that very ending part. Shine on me. Clap, 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 clap. That's what we're going to do. Now, Bruce, if I get rid of this microphone, are they going to hear me? <laughs> My husband would say, Of course they're going to hear me. I'm loud. So I'm going to get rid of the microphone, and we're gonna, that's going to be our prayer. Okay? So I'm going to get rid of this. So we're going to do it. I'm going to say, dear God, and you're going to repeat after me, and then we're going to do, shine on me, clap, 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 shine on me, clap, 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 amen. Okay? All right, ready? Dear God, dear God. shine on me, shine. 